first off, Coach, uh, talk about the layout of the course, challenges that uh, could suit your team or maybe just be tough against you guys. Yeah, you know, um, I know the girls have played there before. This still being my first season as a coach, I haven't played this course that we're going to. Um, the, bigger, the bigger challenge is going to be um, its first tournament uh, of the spring. Spring's always a tough um, time of year to get going for golf. Obviously, you've been cooped up all winter, and uh, you need to knock the rust off in a hurry, and you need to get ready for competition. So that's going to be what we're concentrating on, is just getting, getting prepared, um, getting ready to go, making sure we got our best game right away. What do you really rely on when it comes to getting the girls ready for a course that you personally have never played? You know, the practice round is going to be a, a where we're going to figure out most of um, everything we need to know. That's why you that's why you get there early, and that's why you stay late. And um, you, d you just got to make do with what they give you. And uh, you're given one practice round, and you got to go out and find out what what's out there. Um, that's where you're going to learn everything about the course. So. Is this a unique circumstance where you haven't played the course? Have you played most courses that you've played tournaments at? Uh, for the most part, in the Minnesota, North Dakota region, um, I'm pretty familiar with every course we've gone to so far. But um, yeah, the South Dakota and later on when we travel to Waterloo here, I haven't played a course either, uh, either of those. So uh, it's going to be a learning experience for me when we get there. And um, I'll be taking notes just like the girls uh, during the practice round. So. How's the off-season prep been here in Minot? Because, you know, we've talked a lot with, like, the softball and baseball teams. They've been fortunate enough to be outside more than in the past. Obviously, how has it been for you guys? Uh, we've gotten a few days outside. So um, when we had that nice weekend, we were able to get outside a little bit. Um, we've made do with what we have. Uh, we uh, had our girls in a strength and conditioning program with uh, the trainers here at Minot State, and we've – been getting up at the nets about once a week or better and um, just trying to stay loose and um, basically been waiting for the sunshine to break and we've been fortunate to get a few days but uh, it'll be nice to get a get down there and get some serious golf in so team wise how many girls or will you have a full team play? we'll have a full team playing uh, we'll, we'll travel with five to play five so it's gonna be a full team what feedback have they given you so far Uh, well, one thing they helped with was it's an hour difference, so I was going to have us leaving a little or too early, apparently, um, by their standards. So, but uh, so they've helped me out with uh, the travel times originally here. But uh, basically, they they'll, they'll help me out when we get there. They'll they'll point out things they've noticed in years past at the course that um, that maybe they think are they think's important about the course. Um, so we'll have those discussions once we're there and in the in the moment at the course. Uh, it's a pretty big women's field. Uh, there will be quite a few from the conference, so it'll be a good test. Uh, I know at, at South Dakota and Rapid City, there's going to be um, upwards over 10 teams, I know for sure. I haven't heard the final count, but uh, same with Waterloo. It's going to be two um, good tests right away for us. So are they two 2D tournaments then? Yep. What's your coaching style? Do you normally just bounce around when you're on a course to – your, your different um, your different teammates, or do you do you generally um, do you generally stick with one girl and, and kind of follow her around, or what's your philosophy out there on the course? Yeah, so it's it's kind of a feel thing. You'll you'll get a feel early on of how the day's going for each each uh, each player. Um, you get a feel for each girl as the season goes on of who who likes to have you there, who it benefits to be there, who maybe it doesn't benefit as much um, to always be there. Um, some of them like to be left alone a little bit, just give them the basic info of what they need and let them go. Some like to talk things over with you. So you get a feel for it, and then it depends you know, a lot on the course layout. Um, you know, A lot of key times, um, you want to be at holes that can make a difference. Par threes, you can. Um, there's a lot of strategy that can go in there with you being able to discuss what's happened with previous players, but the players can't discuss between themselves. You're kind of the link between the team. Um, to follow the rules, that's how you um, have to be the link. And so a lot of times there's a, some strategy involved there, but uh, it's most, mostly a feel thing. You get a feel for uh, who needs you that day and or what part of the course you need to be at to ensure you get through it smoothly. So just coming off your experience here last fall, Coach, I mean, how important is a strong start to a quick golf season? 
yeah, it's it's going to be we're going to we want to get off to a good start because uh, we've we had our ups and downs in the fall. Um, we had some high points with uh, Barky winning the a t the tournament tournament back in the fall individually. That was nice to see. Um, we've had some struggles, so we're going to look to get off to a good solid start and hopefully build it on through and make up some ground in conferences. Since Barky's been kind of the gear leader then on the team, um, Henry Colton makes out someone that kind of cuts through and, and, and leads the way. Is she kind of the one the girls are gravitating to? Yeah, we have a, we're fortunate to have a couple of seniors that are um, big contributors too, but uh, Barky certainly has uh, played well and um, she's been a leader for us and she'll continue to be a leader for us.